Okay guys welcome back and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to pass data from one polymer element to the other polymer element so what basically I'm trying to say is that maybe consider we have a number of polymer elements can be any number of elements but for here for simplification I'm concentrating just two elements and we can actually pass data from this element to uh, to the next one or from the next one to the first one in whatever way we want so let's dive it right into code and see how we can do that so all the uh, in the start we have to just create the two elements so i'll just name them like first first element and second element maybe they are just not two good names but still they'll work okay and in a out here I'll also do the Gulf serve server to start okay so we'll just wait for a few seconds to mm, let this process to complete and okay just maybe we can still write the code out here I'll just name this as first element and I'll just make another element uh, and name it like second element and yes we want to include it and we'll just do the same thing again and in case you are new to polymer and don't know how to create new elements please go back to the earlier tutorials where you can see that how to create new elements and we'll just include those two out here and so here we can see that this thing is actually empty and this means that this is a just plain simple app or polymer app okay so once the two elements have been created <coughs> we'll just first go ahead and kind of put in some data in the two elements so here we can see that the fo there's a foo already defined so i'll just give this another uh, another variable of like first element where and just give this a type string and give this a notify true so we'll just do the same thing in the second element also and maybe just rename the variable out here second element So once the two elements have been defined, we'll just rename this part also to h1, maybe like h3 tags and second element and then in a h4 tag, I'll just give this thing something like name of the element out here, of the variable sorry. and we'll just do the same out here also okay. so once we can uh, once we refresh we can see that these the first and the second element are showing up and we have just made some mistake Okay, since we haven't given any value out here, so this thing was actually coming up blank. So I'll just give this like second element and also give this thing out here like first element. Okay. So the next thing to just figure out guys is that how to send the value from the first element to the second element or the from the second element to the first element so to do that we have to first go out here and actually name uh, name the variable whatever we want like here it is first element var so we'll just copy this thing out here and wherever there's a uh, 
and there's a uppercase character we just replace that part with a hyphen and the lowercase character of the same thing so we'll just replace the capital E with a small e and a hyphen before it and the capital V out here with a hyphen and a small v so and then we'll just name it name it the variable that we have first element variable okay so be very careful guys you can see out here is that here we have just defined this thing as uh, as we as it is in, in the uh, element declaration but when we are writing it in as an attribute for the HTML element we have to replace with it a hyphen and a lowercase character and so similarly we will do this thing for the second element also okay. and replace this part also so now you can see guys that we are kind of very close to um, what we want to achieve so the last part that only is left is that we have to just declare those things the first element and the last element in this uh, in whatever element that we want them to be shown or be achieved so we'll just replace this last last part with a um, maybe with a h4 tag again okay and for uh, so that we can see it clearly we will just give this a color of like red and then we will write first element var and I will just do this th for, uh, do the same for everywhere and okay. and then I will do this like second element var and even when we refresh we see that nothing out here has changed that is because guys since we are actually taking these values out here but we are not sending them to each other that's the reason why we cannot see anything so just guys I'll just copy it out here and copy this part to this part and now when we refresh everything should be working fine okay so you, you can see that first element and the second element values can be just passed from one variable to the other very easily and maybe in case you want just want to just pass from the first element to the second element so just remove the second element var and since we are uh, only concerned with uh, with the data passing of the first to the second we don't just need the second data to be uh, to come out so we can remove that part also okay so we can see that from the first element we are trying to take out this data which is being stored in this html attribute out here and then we are passing this html attribute to the second element and then inside this html uh, inside this element we can as a kind of retrieve the data so when we refresh again we can see that only the second element is having the data and the first element's data is gone uh, that, is, that was being passed so that's all guys for this tutorial and in the next tutorial I'll be maybe I'll be showing you something related to how to make better apps with polymer and one of the tricks that I have learned over time if you are just kind of a spring boot developer that trick may also help you so definitely stay tuned for the next tutorial guys and keep watching and keep subscribing to the channel because that helps us a lot and thank you.